is an afterlife. Yeah. For sure? For sure. You think about it much? I do. Are you afraid of dying? Nope. Have you ever come close to dying? Yep. What happened? Um, I got stabbed up. You got scars? Yeah. Right here. On my temple, up here. On my head. Oh, yeah, I see it. Um, right here in my lung. <laughs> and he stabbed me in my head and he took off running. Then I chased him and we was in the middle of the street, but I didn't know I was getting stabbed because I was drunk at the same time. Oh, that doesn't help, does it? No. So you sound like you came close to death, but thank God you're okay and you're here today. So are you going to heaven when you die? Are you a good person? I, I, well, I am a good person. Let, let's see if you're a good person. How many lies have you told in your life? Uh, I, I told a lot of lies, but I also tell the truth most, uh, a, a lot of the time I tell the truth. Have you ever stolen something? Yeah, I stole a lot of things. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Yes. Jesus said if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Every day. Have you had sex out of marriage? Every day. Not every day, but I do have sex out of marriage. Okay, Jeremy, I'm not judging you, but you've just told me you're a lying, thieving, blasphemous, fornicating, adulterer at heart. You've got to face God on Judgment Day. If he judges you by the Ten Commandments on Judgment Day, you're going to be innocent or guilty? Guilty. Heaven or hell? Hell. Now, does that concern you? No. Why not? Because it's, it's, hell is not a bad place. That Jesus warned nobody, not your worst enemy you'd want to go to hell. And Jeremy, you don't realize this, but I love you, and the thought of you ending up in hell horrifies me. I want you to be saved. Now, do you know what God did for guilty sinners so we wouldn't have to go to hell? Repent and um, conf confess their sins and take him as his Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit? Not quite. No. <laughs> God became a human being 2,000 years ago. Jesus was the perfect sinless man. The scriptures say he was the express image of the invisible God. God was manifest in the flesh. And the reason God became a man was to suffer and die on the cross for our sins. You and I broke God's law, and Jesus paid the fine. Have you ever been in court? Yeah. If you're in court and someone pays the fine, the judge can let you go. He can say, Jeremy's guilty, but someone paid his fine, he's out of here. Well, God can dismiss your case, forgive every sin you've ever committed because your fine was paid by Christ on the cross. He cried out, it is finished, just before he died. In other words, the debt has been paid. And then he rose from the dead, defeated death. And Jeremy, if you'll repent and trust in him like you trust a parachute, God will remit your sins, forgive your case, dismiss your case, let you live forever all because of what Jesus did on the cross. What you have to do is repent and trust in him. Does that make sense? Uh, it, I guess it, it does make sense, but... Where's the but? Everlasting life is a free gift of God, and you saying, but, but. Come on. When is that going to happen? The minute you repent and trust Christ, God will give you everlasting life, and he'll seal you with the Holy Spirit. He'll make you new on the inside so you love doing that which is right rather than that which is wrong. He'll make you a new person. Do you think I'm telling the truth? Yes. I don't want to lie to you, so would you please at least think about this? I will, but... No but. <laughs> Stop the buts. Right. This is everlasting life, so think about it. Think you could die tonight, you could die tomorrow. God's, God's preserved you, so be thankful to Him for life and thankful for preserving you. Repent and trust Christ. Give up the battle. I'm not, I'm not a terribly, terribly bad person. Yes, you are. You're like the rest of us. I like the lust and... This is, I don't know, like, but I do a good deed once a day. Try that in court. Judge, I'm guilty. I, I committed the crime, but I do, I do good deeds. He's going to say, what are you talking about? He'll judge you on the crimes, not on the good yeah, deeds. Okay, so please think about this, Jeremy. Okay, would you do that? All right. Okay, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Follow up on this. You're going to follow up on it? How? I'll, I'll give you something to follow up on it, okay? All right. Thanks for talking. Do you have a Bible? No. Well, you've got, have you got a phone? Yes. You can download 20,000 apps. Read the Gospel of John, okay? Thanks for talking to me, Jeremy. I really appreciate it. All right. You're welcome.